Hello everyone, I am Ali Jafri and you are watching my channel AJ Vlogs. Friends, in today's historical blog, we will talk about countries located in the east of the North Sea which still maintain their existence through the union of four countries. So, let's start this interesting video of today. The United Kingdom of Great Britain consists of England, Scotland, Wales and a self-governing region, Northern Ireland. It is said that the name of Britain was given after the Britain tribes who migrated to this region from other countries in Europe. Before we dive deeper into the UK's history, let's take a moment to explore its ancient roots. The Roman occupation, which began in 43 AD, left a lasting imprint on this land. It's fascinating how history layers upon history. As a United State, the United Kingdom primarily came into existence after the political union of the states of the England and Scotland in 1707, which we today know as Great Britain. This was one of the most astonishing changes in European history. The global power of Britain began with the Industrial Revolution and due to its geography, far off the western coast of Europe, British political, economic, social and cultural influences dramatically shaped and brought significant changes globally. The Industrial Revolution, a true turning point in history, birthed innovations that shaped the world. Imagine a world without steam engines and mechanized textile production, it's a testament to human ingenuity. The history of Britain began in the 18th century with the Treaty of Union and Acts of Union. The term United Kingdom was occasionally used for the former Great Britain while from 1707 to 1800, its official name was simply Britain. Speaking of history, let's not forget the role of the monarchy. From the Magna Carta to the Glorious Revolution, the UK's journey from an absolute monarchy to a constitutional one is a story of immense significance. The initial decades were marked by the rise of the Jacobites, ending in 1746 with the defeat of the Stuarts at the Battle of Culloden. The victory in the Seven Years' War in 1763 was the start of the British Empire's first expansion. Then in 1783, the Tories came into power, remaining in power for almost 60 to 70 years. The Tories initiated decades of political reforms and opened up the economy for liberalization. From the suffragette movement to the labor movement, ordinary people have made extraordinary changes in the UK. It's inspiring to see how social movements can shape nations. In 1800, the Act of Union incorporated Ireland into Britain creating the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Britain lost its 13 American colonies after defeat in the American War of Independence by the United States, France and Spain, and then rebuilt the Second British Empire in Asia and Africa. As a result, British culture and its technological, political, constitutional and linguistic influence spread worldwide. The Victorian era culturally was a time of prosperity and dominance of the middle class when Britain gained supremacy over the global economy. In the 19th century, Britain was the world's greatest power. The First World War in 1914, an alliance with France, Russia and the United States against Germany was a ferocious but successful war. The British Empire at its zenith in the 1920s covered almost a quarter of the world's land and population, making it the largest empire in history. 
However, its participation in the First and the Second World Wars damaged Britain's economic power and the global wave of decolonization led to the independence of most British colonies. In the post-war years, it faced major challenges somewhat mitigated by extensive financial aid from the United States and Canada. In 1922, 26 counties of Ireland separated to form the Irish Free State. The UK faced immense challenges during and after the World Wars, but its resilience and the support it received from the Allies like the United States and Canada helped it rebuild and recover. A year later, Northern Ireland separated from the Free State and returned to Britain. In 1927, the United Kingdom changed its official title to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, commonly shortened to Britain and then the UK. In the late 1930s, it supported appeasing Hitler's Germany until the Nazi attack on Poland in 1939 started the Second World War. In World War II, the Soviet Union and the United States joined Britain as major allied powers. After 1950, Britain took a strong stance against communist expansion, playing a key role in forming NATO, a Soviet opposing military alliance with Western Germany, France, the United States, Canada and other smaller countries. NATO remains a powerful military alliance. In today's world, where environmental concerns are paramount, the UK's efforts in conservation and sustainability deserve recognition. The country is playing its part in addressing global environmental challenges. However, Britain is no longer a military or economic superpower as seen in the 1956 era, and perhaps that's why it granted independence to almost all its colonies. New states generally joined the Commonwealth of Nations. Since 1998, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have had their own separate governments and systems, each with different powers. Friends, if we talk about the area of the UK, with an area of 2,45,900 square kilometers, it is the 78th largest country in the world. The combined area of the four countries of the UK includes 54% in England, 32% in Scotland, 9% in Wales and only 3% in Northern Ireland. This is just the area of these four countries of Britain. The area of the UK's overseas territories is not included in this list. If we look at the area of the Britain's overseas territories, it's 17,27,000. 517 square kilometers. If the United Nations includes these 14 territories in Britain, it would become the 13th largest country in the world by area. The population of these 14 territories is around 500,000. After including the population of the four countries of Britain, the total population is around 70 million, ranking 22nd in the world in terms of population. Finally, let's talk about the most recent chapter in the UK's history, Brexit. The decision to leave the European Union has reshaped the nation's relationship with the world. It's a reminder that history is still being written. I hope you all liked this interesting video today. See you again in a new video with some more interesting stories. Now please give me permission. Allah Hafiz.